Claire Trevor School of the Arts is UC Irvine's creative laboratory. From the most traditional of art forms to the radically new, we explore and develop the arts as the essence of human experience and expression. We're poised right now at a pivotal moment as Trevor School is just emerging in its newest form. We have a brilliant future. We're just getting started. Well, just down the street from us is UCI, and they have the wonderful Claire Trevor School of the Arts, and two wonderful actors are joining us today, Hope and Evan. Thanks for so much for joining us on the program yeah. today. I know you have a busy week because you actually open on Friday. Let's talk a little bit about your experience with UCI and the Claire Trevor yeah. School of the Arts. It must have been an incredible experience because you all come from the East Coast, mm -hmm. and now you're here in Irvine. And kind of going through this drama process is great. Yeah, it, uh, it took a little bit of getting used to, yeah. I'm quite different from New York, yeah. um, but come to really love it. I just graduated last year, so kind of in the middle of the pandemic, the craziness, right. but um, yeah, graduated from UCI's MFA program, loved it, um, would go back in a heartbeat, and I've stuck around with now New Swan Shakespeare Festival, which right. we do is kind of um, with UCI, but a kind of separate as well, but on mm -hmm. campus, it's this beautiful festival, and I'm super happy to be back, and right. back to live theater. It's great. Have you, you've already gotten your MFA as well? Yeah, I just graduated in June, actually. So, uh, yep, just finished up, and yeah, very thankful to be able to have a professional opportunity through New Swan, yeah. um, doing Shakespeare outside in this beautiful, yeah. uh, beautiful theater. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and what's, what do you guys find the attraction with Shakespeare? It's been around for a few centuries yeah. now, but yeah. it's still popular and still makes you, you know, kind of think like, okay, what, what's really going on here? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I don't, I, I, Shakespeare's great. I, I, it's timeless, I yeah. think. I mean, there's, you know, all of his plays, there's things that you can adjust and change and um, to make it kind of relevant today. But at the core of it, it's just about humans and human relationships and yeah and the same struggles that we go through today. So it's pretty timeless, so it's, right. it's pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, I think that's why it's done so often is because um, even though the language might not be um, as easy to understand or follow, mm -hmm. the stories usually, like I said, are very relevant today. And right. um, the audience is able to sort of relate with what the characters are going through. Right, yeah. it doesn't matter when it is, it could have been a thousand years ago, and yeah. basically going through the same thing. Yeah. Just, yeah. It's all relative, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your character. Tell me a little bit about your character. In the yeah, so, we, so we're doing two, so two shows in rotating reps. So one night we do Comedy of Errors, the next night we do Pericles, Prince of Tyre, and in Comedy of Errors I'm playing Adriana, um, and she is the wife of one of the Antiphilus uh, characters. There's twins. So there's kind of a, a switch up where she doesn't know if it's her husband or oh, the wow. twin, and it goes on to this whole big comedy. And she's just a wild character. She she's she's really fun to play. A lot right. of fun monologues. And then the other show, uh, I play Taisa, who is um, the wife of Pericles, and they get shipwrecked and kind of separated. So very different. Um, storylines, but um, right. both really amazing characters that I'm really honored to be playing. Great. Yeah. And you're in both productions yeah, as well? Yeah, I'm in both uh, productions as well. Um, in Comedy of Errors, I'm playing Antipolis of Syracuse. Um, and basically, he's just kind of on this quest to find his uh, long-lost brother, twin brother, and um, his mom as well. And then, yeah, then it kind of, everything kind of goes awry when um, I, I, I end up being in the same town as him and oh, wow. characters start getting mixed like with if it's me or my twin brother and then yeah. it kind of just keeps spinning out of control. Hence the errors, the comedy yes. of errors. Right. Yes, many errors, yeah. Let's yep. talk about the venue too. It's incredible. It's only 130 Beautiful. seats and, and they're right yeah. on top of you guys. Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is that weird? Is it difficult to yeah. focus sometimes when you can actually see the audience. I imagine that's unique. Yeah, I mean, um, it's a very intimate space, yeah. and um, they're right there up with you. And, and the, the cool thing, though, about Shakespeare is that there's a lot of asides, and what asides are essentially are you, direct address to the audience, oh, right? Okay. So um, in Comedy of Errors, I have a lot of those. So I'm like, you know, trying to figure out this issue with the audience. So um, it's been... 
it's been really nice having having audience members to talk to. We we've already had a couple previews and stuff, so because that that has been a whole a whole different and new element in itself is like okay, I finally have like my scene partner with me in right. a way. Mm -hmm. um, Plus the interaction is going to be different from night to night, exactly. show to show, right? Yes, so absolutely. You might ask a certain question yeah. and just get this yeah. look. Like, <laughs> and the audience too, because you know we have that wall there, right? So like, yeah. are we supposed to tell you that? Right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Oh, what a fun experience. No, yeah, it's a super beautiful, really special venue. I've never performed in anything like mm -hmm. it. And it's really just a magical space. and. There's all different seats from the groundlings, which is basically, you're kind of on stage there with us. Right. Um, then the lords and the kings, kind of a more traditional um, seating situation. And then the heavens, which are up above the theater, all the way on the top. And yeah. personally, I've been able to like sit and watch some rehearsals from up there. And I think it's a beautiful, wonderful right. uh, view of of the fun, of the fun, of the right. show. Yeah, um, and we've seen some of these wonderful pictures that we were able to uh, get from you. And yeah. it, the costuming, you yeah. know, the color of it, the vibrancy. It's not just you two on stage. I mean, there's yeah. a number of people mm -hmm. on stage at the same time, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 The, the full company, we do both shows. So mm -hmm. you get to see someone doing, you know, one role in one show and then come the next day to see the other one. It's completely different. So What are the challenges of doing two shows at basically the same time? <sighs> I think... <laughs> you forget which role you're in sometimes? Yeah. I know. I mean, um, I feel like both of these shows, there's a lot to remember, right? Yeah. Like. And um, and uh, in Pericles, Prince of Tyre, I I have a bunch of kind of smaller roles, but it's a lot to remember. Like I don't want to, you know, I don't want to miss an entrance, yeah. you know. And um, there's a lot of also uh, technical elements that you kind of have to, right. you know. So like as the show's going on, I'm like reminding myself, okay, what's next? Yeah. What do I, what do I have to be on for? What costume do I have to be in? Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. And you got to be on your marks. Oh you know, yeah. Depending on what show you're doing, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Very different, right? right? Different mindset for each yeah, show, yeah, definitely. Yeah. What's next for for you? Um, and, LA, um, yeah, LA. Los yeah. Angeles. Going to yeah. um, move up to Los Angeles and Good. kind of focus on some maybe TV and film for a little bit. But yeah. theater will always always right. be there too. Yeah, yeah um, I mean, a big part of why I wanted to come to UC Irvine was to um, be out here and be in LA because um, there's just a lot of there's a lot of TV and film opportunity. Right. Um, also theater opportunity as well, yeah. you know. Um, I just got done doing a show at South Coast Repertory too, oh, yeah. and um, I was like, oh, there's theater out here as well. Right. So yeah. I would love to be able to to branch out into TV and film, but also yeah. still do theater because that's yeah. where my heart is yeah. as well. So. And South Coast helped you out too because that's a very small, intimate um, theater as well. So I mean, so you're used to kind of having people like you know, five feet away, 10 yeah. feet away, which is kind of unique. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is stage your favorite or are you trying to get it, you know, once you get that feel for film and television, who knows what you'll, you'll enjoy, but stage yeah. seems to be, it seems like all actors, they seem to like the stage. It's yeah. their foundation yeah. and it's a different experience where television yes. and film, it's, it's popular. Yeah, there's something, uh, there's just something special about theater, yeah. about yeah. live performances that like can't be replicated in any other way really um, just being able to kind of share share the space share the moment with not only the actors that you're acting with but also the audience as well it's just very it's very special yeah. it is very rewarding and yeah magical is just the word that keeps coming to mind especially with new swan but yeah um, I think for a lot of actors theater just feels like home feels like true acting and when you get into film and TV I think it's a little more you know it's more technical and yeah. you're behind the scenes and the stage is somewhere else yeah the audience, exactly you know, whether you're doing well you could be doing a sitcom but if you're yeah. doing film it's just the crew mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and a lot of times for TV and film too it's like um, the scenes aren't like sometimes they're not shot in order yeah. sometimes they're you know they're kind of cut and spliced together yeah. whereas theater you're able to kind of like Give have this whole like sort of arc Right. You're able to kind of go through the whole story from beginning yeah. to end. And that's what's interesting when actors go and promote films. It's like that was shot and edited probably two years ago. Right. And they're already on to what, two projects by now. Right. And they yeah. got to go back and relive the whole thing and pretend yeah. like it just happened. So it's kind of yeah. unique. Yeah. Well, yeah. you have a lot of support here in Orange County. We have the yeah. Orange County Performing Arts Center. Of course, we have UCI. We have SCR, we have Laguna Playhouse, so yeah. uh, there's a lot of support for your industry in Orange yeah. County, and we're very proud yeah. of that. So yeah. we want to encourage people to uh, be sure and see this production. It's going to start this weekend. That's going to be on Friday, and you can go over there to NewSwanShakespeare.com 
and there you see the calendar of shows and you can also give them a call there at that 949-854-4646 phone number or just go to their website. It's a, I went through it. Not only are you going to see some wonderful pictures, but you're also going to be able to buy, uh, book your tickets yeah. as well. Thanks so much for uh, being with us today on uh, Laguna Woods Villages This Day program. Yeah.